What's up, guys? How are you? Welcome into a Thursday morning episode of the Daily Juice Podcast with me, Matt Peralt at Sports Talk. Matt, to follow me on Twitter, you guys know this podcast being brought to you by our friends at BetMGM and the $1,000 first bet offer available right now at BetMGM and BetMGM.com. Use that promo code JUICE when you sign up for a new account to get that $1,000 first bet offer. Okay, still getting hooked. One and two night, still a losing night. Not a good week. How did I lose the Boston Celtics team total over 57 and a half? How? It landed 57. This is somewhat comical right now. All right. So if you faded the bets, you had a winning day. One and two. I've hit on both days, Monday and Tuesday. The last bet of the night both times has cashed. Does that mean we're going to turn things around today? I'm not sure. I hope so. (laughs) We've got one NBA game. We've got two NHL games. I have plays on all three. I thought about betting baseball. It's Patrick Corbin day, but the Cubs don't score any runs. I don't know how to bet that. Like first five over. eh? Jamison Tyon coming back off of the DL, the IL today. First start for the Cubs after the injury. What does he look like? Maybe he's awesome. Maybe he sucks. Nats don't score. Cubs score a little bit, but they haven't been scoring. 1-1 in that series right now. I I don't know. Red Sox just took three in a row against the Blue Jays to bet the streak. I I don't know. Baseball, I'm I'm, I'm trying to track baseball because I'm going to bet it soon. This is a day where I would bet baseball, but, you know, we're not going to do that. We're going to play some Ridiculous plays. I got a bunch of personal plays I can tell you about. If you guys want to jump in, I actually do have a parlay that it's a half unit parlay. It's probably a dumb bet, but let's have some fun at least. Maybe I can win some money back. I don't know. We can pick up some some steam here. Maybe I can get hot, you know, got to hit rock bottom before you come back up. Maybe today is the day that we're going to go ahead and do that. There's a trend I am betting that now everyone's going to bet, and that's probably going to be the kiss of death because everyone's talking about it, but we'll see what happens with the basketball game. And then we've got a couple of interesting plays to come at you here for hockey. Stay tuned for both of those or all of those here in just one second. But first and foremost, the one-year upgrade to Betting Pros Premium is available if you want to subscribe to this very YouTube channel, like this video on YouTube, and leave a review or a comment underneath me here. Tell me how how bad I've been this week. Go right ahead. And then if you do, you guys could get a free upgrade to Betting Pros Premium whether you're looking for access to exclusive picks, top-rated player props, or custom analysis of your betting performance, Betting Pros Premium has the tools to help you catch more bets. Don't want to wait for that giveaway at the end of the month? Well, you can sign up today at bettingpros.com slash upgrade and start betting smarter, not harder. And the Daily Juice being brought to you by our friends at Fanimal. You guys know that hidden fees suck and that customer service for buying tickets can be terrible. Coordinating with your friends could also be a nightmare. If you use Fanimal, they've got tickets to everything, concerts, festivals, football games, you name it, and there's no fees. You guys pay the price. You see, you heard it here. You guys can go to get Fanimal, download the app, and look at how inexpensive their tickets are to go. We also have had the awful experience of coordinating to go to games with friends. How do you avoid getting stuck putting out the money while you chase your friends down? Well, fanimal has got a patented group purchasing system that makes it easy to split payments with your friends so no one's left holding the bag. You don't commit until your friends do. You pick the seats, pick how many tickets you want to pay for for yourself, and then send the link to your friends. When they join your group, everyone gets charged separately and your tickets are secured. Plus, you can stack some cash by inviting your friends. You get 10 bucks every time somebody joins your group. Next time you need tickets, go to Fanimal.com and download the Fanimal app and use the promo code Fanimal Juice to get $20 off your first purchase. Check out Fanimal and experience the difference. Experience more. Fanimal Juice promo code. Get $20 off your first purchase at Fanimal.com. All right. The breakdown for the Warriors and the Lakers is pretty simplistic. 14 and 2, straight up. I'm sorry, ATS rather. Teams that lose game one, game two at home. The last 16 games, I believe they're 16 and 0, but 14 and 2 ATS. Lines five and a half. 
I hate betting trends when they get publicized. But like we know, point spreads are stupid and point spreads don't matter. <laughs> Either the dog wins outright or the home team favorite covers. The Boston Celtics are the clear example of that. Why didn't I bet Boston minus seven and a half? Because I'm not seeing the board well. If I was, I simply would have bet Boston minus seven and a half and left it alone and not bet the team total, which was not a very good idea. Would have had an easy walk in the park cover because Boston throttled the Philadelphia 76ers. Why? Joel Embiid played. Can he please play the rest of the series? Okay. Joel, come on, man. Get out there on the court. We need you on the court. Boston killed Philadelphia. Will they kill him in game three? We'll see. Boston was focused. Boston's a better basketball team than Philadelphia. Sorry, Sixers fans. When they want to play, when Boston is focused and they actually don't take their foot off the gas, they look like the team that should be favored to win it all. But the problem is, I don't trust them at all. Didn't trust them last night, to be quite honest. 57 and a half, it landed 57 first half team total. Yuck. Tonight, though, Warriors minus five and a half. Play it. What does it matter? <laughs> the Warriors win, which I think they do. They have to. Can't go to LA down 0-2. It's a must-win game tonight for the you know, defending champs. I don't think they're going to lose this game tonight. I think they'll play much harder, better, and they will get to the foul line a lot more tonight than they did. They only shot six foul shots in the first game. Unacceptable. That will change in game two. Warriors minus five and a half. 1.1 units down to win. Now, here's... Two parlays you could play if you want, okay? Don't recommend parlaying. Parlaying is dumb. Parlaying is a losing effort, but if you want to have some fun, there are three game twos tonight, all in which the home team lost game one. Warriors, Stars, Kraken. That's a plus 224 parlay, all three on the money line. If you want to avoid and say the Kraken are a damn good road team, Matt, the Kraken might win both games in Dallas. Not crazy to say that because then Dallas could win both games in Seattle. So like New Jersey and the Rangers. So we've seen that already this postseason. So you want to eliminate the Kraken game and just go Warriors Leafs. That's a plus 118 parlay. Both those are worth making, I think, personally. I've made them. Okay. I'm not making them official, but I have made them. Small, but I have made them because I think it's too good of an opportunity to take that with a home team down 0-1 in a best of seven series. They've got to win game two. Backs are against the wall for all of them. Toronto, for Dallas, for the Warriors, all are in must-win situations here in their best of seven series. So to bet them all on the money line with no point spreads involved, not bad. Plus 224 or plus 118 if you want to check out the Kraken game because they are the, that's the one game I'm nervous. Three-leggers always concern me. They're always the, the most difficult to hit. Two-leggers are far more likely to hit than three legs. Three legs gets all wonky. So if you want to play one, Leafs and the Warriors is the one to play. If you're only going to play one, that would be the one to play at plus 118. Okay, let's talk Seattle and Dallas. We bet under in the first game, and six goals got scored in the first period. While I don't think that's going to happen, I don't think the Kraken know how to play games to the under. And I think Dallas is going to come out flying. And if Dallas comes out flying, the Kraken will match it. And that's an offensive game. If both teams want to get together and play defense, it could go under. But I don't think the Kraken really care about playing much defense. They want to go. They want to skate. The Kraken are offensively minded more than defensively minded. And last night we saw it. Both games went over. 5-1, final, Carolina. They win game one. By the way, the Hurricanes are good. Can we please all admit that? The Hurricanes are good. Stop disrespecting the Hurricanes. They could win it all, okay? Hurricanes can hoist the cup. I'm telling you, they're good enough to hoist the cup. Everyone's forgetting about the Hurricanes being the number, number two team in the Eastern Conference behind the Bruins. They were the team I was the most afraid about in terms of knocking the Bruins out. Not the Panthers, obviously, but the Hurricanes. Hurricanes are dangerous. Anyways, Hurricanes are up. Now one game to none, but that game went over. 10 goals were scored in the Vegas Golden Knights game with Edmonton. There won't be an under game in that series. We're going to see seven and a halfs. I, I firmly believe that. In this series, we will see a seven and a half. It's stupid. No one's playing defense. I think, look, I'm ice cold. Fade this, okay? Bet the under if you want, and maybe you hit. I, I'm having a bad week, so I don't get angry. If you guys want to fade this, go right ahead, but I'm going over five and a half, okay? Shop around for the price as to what you're going to pay. For over five and a half, I think it's really going to be interesting to see what the books do with this because I think they, I mean, it's plus money, 
okay? It's plus 110. Minus 130, they think the same thing's going to happen or they think it's going to be a, a game like we thought game one was going to be like. And it's very possible, okay? I just don't think the Kraken play like this. Open net. I think a 5-1 final is possible. I think Dallas might smoke the Kraken tonight. But the Kraken score, they play aggressive. I could really easily see it, you know, with a 4-2 final. It's 3-2, open net. We might need the open net to get there. But I think at plus 110, I'm going to take the one-unit flyer here. I'm going to bet the over on the Kraken and the Stars. I just don't particularly think that the Kraken know how to play under hockey games in particular five-on-five games, on the road at least. Maybe at home things change a bit. But Dallas, I think we'll have numerous scoring opportunities, okay? Numerous. Official play over five and a half, plus 110. Jumping in on that. Here's where I'm going to get a little bit crazy. Remember the gift parlay? That was fun. I think there's a really good chance we get a gift parlay. And you might go, Matt, I want something on Florida and Toronto. Okay, Goal in the first 10 minutes. But it's uber expensive to bet Florida and Toronto. It's uber expensive to bet first period over in this. Minus 165. Same thing for over in the for, for a goal in the first 10 minutes. Okay. At minus 165. I think we're gonna get gonna get at least one goal quickly in Toronto and Tampa. And then it's only minus 135, but it is juiced to the yes for a goal in the first 10 minutes for Seattle and Dallas. I think Dallas could come out flying in this game and could score very quickly. They scored two minutes into the game or three minutes into the game in game one. Could Seattle score first? Could they score quickly? I think a goal in the first 10 minutes is really possible. If you parlay that together, it's a plus 179 parlay. Why not? It's been a horrific week. Let's throw a half a unit down on it. Why not? <laughs> Gift parlay. Let's see if I can pull myself out of the nosedive with an old regular season goody here. Goal in the first 10 minutes, both games. Seattle, Dallas, Toronto, and Florida. Half a unit bet at plus 179. And what am I doing with the other half a unit? I'm going to have two NBA player props for you guys. Two in one game. I don't like it, but I do think there's a good shot the game goes over again. It's right on the number. Same number, 227.5, 228. Same number as game one. It landed 229, so why change the number? But I think there's going to be some opportunities for rebounds, for Looney, for Anthony Davis. There's some decent NBA player prop potential in this game coming up here tonight. We'll have two NBA player props for you guys coming up in the Discord channel, bettingpros.com slash chat, or on YouTube. The link is underneath me. If you guys want to go directly to our YouTube channel, I will put two NBA player props, which we've been, you know, somewhat decent. I missed the NBA bet. Let me see an up-to-date, quickly up-to-date NBA player prop. What am I for player props here for the record? So far, uh, let's see. NBA, we are now 18 and 14, up three units. And NBA player props, we are 15 and 14, down 0.27 units. So down 0.3 units there. So pretty much flat for NBA player props. So overall, NBA, we are up, you know, basically 2.7 units so far in the NBA. So let's get back with an NBA play for player props here. Let's see if we can get that into the plus tonight with a couple of plays. NBA player props. Okay. Three bets official. Two more bets coming in the Discord channel. Warriors minus five and a half. Over five and a half. Seattle and the Kraken at plus 110. Sorry, Seattle and the Dallas Stars at plus 110. Gift parlay. Goal in the first 10 minutes. Both games in hockey tonight at plus 179. Half a unit there, two NBA player props coming as well. Half a unit to be played there as well. Let's see if I can pull out of the nosedive and have a good Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Still time to have a winning week, but I'm still in quite the hole right now. I'm in a big one. See if I can get out of it. My name is Matt Peralta. Follow me on Twitter at Sports Talk Matt every single morning. It is the Daily Juice Podcast being brought to you by BetMGM.